So I went to the Blue Lock exhibition in Osaka. I took a bunch of pictures and videos, and uh, here's my experience. I'm gonna show it to you. So here's me lining up for the Blue Lock exhibition, and we have to stand on these little like stickers on the ground, like that matches our ticket number for the exhibition. Also, we got these little stickers of um, I guess like the Blue Lock ranking. These are all given to us like randomly. You can choose what number you had. Ah, uh, team. Ah, uh, team X. W. What you got? W. The the, the crocodile brothers. Oh, yeah. Main protagonist. Nagi for your question. Look at her. Oh. Emo boys club. Yeah. So entering the exhibition, you are immediately greeted by this huge blue lock sign. And uh, and I was also immediately told by a staff that I wasn't allowed to film. The next um, like long section of the exhibition. The next section we were allowed photographs was like this like very neon area. It was very blue as well, so any, anything that I took was very blue. <laughs> there were four huge neon signs in total. So one of them was for Aryu, which I'm not sure if I have a photo of. Yeah. Two of them were for Nagi. I don't know why two, like this boy's too famous. Um, and there's one for Corona, which didn't appear in the anime yet. I, I mean, he had like one scene, but you, went, you know what I mean, he was barely there. So I was very surprised by that because I did not expect to see Corona at all in this exhibition. So I was very happy. So after this neon artwork section, we then entered this other section where there's like cardboard of Hisagi, Rin, and Bachira as police officers, which I was found was really funny because, um, you know, blue lock, blue prison. So them as police is kind of like ironic because they're supposed to be the prisoners. So after this police section, we then entered this sort of like fake cafeteria area. It's supposed to mimic the cafeteria in Blue Lock, where um, there's a bunch of cardboard characters again. So like after this cafeteria area, we get to go to see um, like this like dual. I, I don't really know how to describe this. I'll just show the picture on the screen. You get to see Rin and Sai, the two brothers. So after this section, we get to see a lot of Blue Lock characters locker room, which I found was very interesting. There are a lot of like spoilers for some of the lockers for the manga. So I'm gonna go for all the lockers without any spoilers. Starting off with Aryu's locker. Um, it was very neat and I like how there was like this like, I don't know what it's called, like some sort of headband, but it's not really a headband, you know, like the thing that wraps around is like really long hair. And also I like how he had a mirror because he loves how he looks like. <laughs> Uh, next we have Bar's locker. It's super neat. I love it. <laughs> I love how neat they made it. And they also have like the the toolkit. I forgot what it's called, but like man manicure kit. I don't know. Anyways, you get what I mean. You can see it. Next we have Mikage Ryo's locker. Ryo's locker is just so funny to me. He just has this notebook down there where um it it's not even in Japanese. It's just in English. Road to <laughs> It just says Road to World Cup with Naki, it's just so funny. Oh, I guess the notebook basically proves that Ryo is also canonically an English speaker, kind of like Rin. Next one, we have Nagi's locker. It's just such a contrast to all the other ones because of how messy it is. It totally fits him. We have the monk Igarashi's locker. Not that much going on other than they give given his jersey, which is interesting because I don't think anyone else had their jersey. Kunigami's locker is, uh, I like how he just has like protein shake down there and a lot of like workout stuff, like dumbbell. I mean, he is like one of the more like jacked characters. I like how Chigiri's locker is also a mess, kind of like Nagi's, like these two are known for like not tidying up stuff. They also gave him his med kit for his leg care. Bajira has a pillow in his locker, perfect. This guy sleeps 24-7. Um, also a football, I guess, also perfect, because he's like, I guess he loves, like, football. I mean, technically they all do, but you get what I mean. Also, I just realized, what is that down there? Is that, is that his underwear? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's also interesting how they gave Bacha hair ties and clips, even though, um, he does wear it in, like, when he's not playing or, like, in some, like, official arts, but I don't think Bacha has ever worn the hair tie in... Wait, no, he does. Never mind. He ties it at the front when he was studying. Okay, Isagi's locker. I guess it really shows how Isagi is such like a well thought out planner. Like he thinks about all these things because like, you can see all the notes written down. It reminds me like a bit of like Deku from My Hero Academia. And um, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Isagi canonically write down notes in Blue Lock. So 
it might be slightly out of character. He usually just monologues in his brain. Okay, now we're gonna go through all the lockers with like spoilers. Um, so spoiler warning, jump to this timestamp if you don't want any season 2 spoilers. Next we have Itoshi Rin's locker. Um, I like how they give him a yoga mat since he does yoga, or like meditation. And uh, I like how he had the um, team captain band. I will never understand why he is team captain. Nico's locker was also pretty clean. There's not that much going on to it other than... Um, I guess he also has a mirror, which is interesting, because canonically, Nico doesn't like showing his forehead to other people, that's why he's banged her that long, so maybe he has like a mirror next to him so he doesn't need to like go to the bathroom to check on the mirror, so like to expose his forehead. <laughs> okay, next we have Gagamaru Zaku, the goat. They gave him the goalie jersey and gloves, which is very cool, I like that. I didn't expect the color to be like a bright yellow, but I think it works with the blue. I, I like it. So um, after the locker section, we go through this, like, I guess it, they're, it, they're trying to mimic the streets of Shibuya and we see all the characters out there wearing like very like casual clothing. Oh, by all the characters, I mean only Isagi, Bachira, and Chigiri. We also have this funny mock yoga room where you get to take a picture of Rin on a yoga mat. <laughs> Afterwards, you go to this section of like Isagi, Bado, Nagi, and um, Chigiri's living area, their little dorm room. Next to this dorm section is this, it's basically like a ranking of like what can Nagi trap with his like leg. Like the items voted on this list is voted by Twitter. And uh, in first place, people on Twitter voted Rio's toothbrush. So uh, in the third and second final room of the exhibition, we get to see all the Blue Lock characters wearing these white suits. Like they're like official artworks drawn for this exhibition. Plus another small corner with the, um, with more like drafts of the manga. Most of these are adapted into like the blue lock additional times. There's also this giant wall where you could leave a message. Most people just doodled or write like small message of how happy they are for being there. They also had like a model of blue lock man. You could also write on this blue lock man figure. At the exit, there's this giant statue of, um, of Isagi, Nagi, Rin, and Baro holding up like this giant um, soccer ball or football, which I thought was pretty cool. And that was the exhibition. You can also buy some exhibition exclusive merch afterwards. And um, here's a shelf of them, so I'm gonna show you them on the screen. And um, I'm also gonna show you um, clips of me opening some merch that I bought. Here, here's our Blue Lock merch. Let's turn it around, so... Here's the bag that we bought. The, the lady didn't give us two, because we, we were asking for two, we keep on saying like, can we have two, and then she was like, no. That was so sad. <laughs> the other people got multiple bags, but we didn't. What the heck, man? <laughs> we got a Nagi and Ryo little plushy thing. We bought the exact same whatever these are. They're like Flats. this, but bigger. And we have the this poster, the one with Isagi and Kaiser, who doesn't appear in the anime yet. No spoilers. Oh, it's that. Oh. <laughs> I like how we bought the exact same one. They look cool, man. They yeah. look cool. It is. So nice. Good enough. Fury time. Fury time. I will explain this magnificent fury to the viewers because I also believe in it. You see the the ball that Kaiser has? It's very like dirty and rusty, like compared to like the one that Isagi has. So like, I think he's. There's gonna be a plot twist where Kaiser comes from like some sort of like a very tragic or poor background. Yeah. He fought from his way from poverty. And it's gonna contrast a lot of his like like arrogant personality. Yeah, True. Cool. So the plan was that I was gonna put the Rio plushie on my bag and Tim was gonna put the Nagi plushie on his bag and we're just gonna bring them to Universal Studios Osaka. But then um Nagi didn't fit on his bag for some reason, so Ryo went to Universal Studios alone, which is very funny. He got dumped once again. So yeah, that was the Blue Lock exhibition. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, thank you to my 11 subscribers and, and this guy who paid me money for no reason. Um, and yeah, bye.